it seems that the Democrats have been, for two years now, really, really concerned about collusion with foreign powers in the 2016 election. And then it turns up Mueller report says there was no coordination at all between the Trump administration and Russia. And then it turns out that over right next to Russia in the Ukraine, that there was a concerted effort and a coordination between Ukrainian officials and Americans in the DNC to try mm-hmm. to help Hillary Clinton out in the election, and nobody's talking about that. Ha- hasn't a Democrat already been arrested? In in that? Well, uh, connected with that some way. I think indicted. I think it was indicted. I actually, that oh, was not break- arrested? That was breaking news, and I actually right. didn't get the name of the official before I came on uh, because I was working on another story. But yeah, that, that's actually a different story, or that's the same story, but I don't know which one of those was involved in that. But Mm -hmm. what this one involves is that somehow, mysteriously, the State Department couldn't figure out a way to get visas to the people that wanted to drop the evidence off in Washington. They were supposed to get their visas, and then all of a sudden the State Department decided, and and specifically the U.S.-Ukrainian ambassador decided, yeah, you're not going to get your visas. And they don't want to give it to the officials over there, like the FBI agents that are stationed in Ukraine, because they're saying that the same organization that this evidence goes after, it was founded by American officials in the Ukraine. You know what? You could have done some on-the-ground reporting about this stuff, couldn't you? Well, I could have if I had known about the existence That's what I of mean. this story back you then. You need to smell a story better. <laughs> I was an Ivano Frankis. I wouldn't have been near where all this happened anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, this happened in Kiev. I only spent one night in Kiev. Well, I, I was—I mean, you were in the neighborhood. I, I was. <laughs> I didn't speak the language. Well, most of us can't understand what Trump and the Democrats are saying either. So, no, you got a good I, point there. <laughs> By yeah, the but, way, but, but here's the crazy thing, and I'll just sort of give you the details on this one and let you respond to it. So Joe Biden's son, Hunter, Hunter Biden, uh, his son, along with John Kerry's son, because he and John Kerry are best friends, and, and John Kerry's stepson and, and Hunter Biden are best friends, they founded this company called Rosemont Capital. And Biden was Obama's point man in the Ukraine. He basically said, you're in charge of all our relations uh, with the Ukraine. Little Biden. No, no, no. Uh, Joe Big Biden. Biden. Joe Biden. Yeah. Okay. Well, we, Hunter, we Hunter could... Biden was not involved in this part of it. I got you. Go ahead. So Joe Biden is is basically the the face of the U.S. other than the ambassador over in Ukraine mm-hmm. for the Obama administration. And uh, when that happened, U.S. Mag, this is how significant this was. U.S. Magazine said, "quote No one in the U.S. government has wielded more influence than Vice President Joe Biden." So mm-hmm. Joe Biden's the guy in Ukraine, and he started a program that would send 1.8 billion dollar loans and experts to Ukraine to help them develop nat- natural gas. So that was the point of the program. Hmm. $108 billion, or sorry, a $1.8 billion loan, and they're going to go send experts that are experts in natural gas to help them develop their technology. Guess which experts they sent? I wouldn't know. Hunter Biden. Oh, I got you. And his good friend. So what is his expertise in natural gas? Uh, he has exactly zero years of experience in natural gas. So in reality, being in the petroleum industry and what I, I actually have more, I could have been sent on that deal. You could have. You're a little co- bit, a little bit better than he would have done probably. Yeah. Can you imagine that Ivy Leaguer up there was, I mean, I don't know where he went to school, but little Hunter Bi- Biden is doing this deal. I wonder how much money he made doing that. Oh, I, I don't know. $1.8 billion. That's a mm-hmm. truckload of money. And here's the thing, Hunter Biden and his buddy, Devin Archer, those are the two experts that they Mm -hmm. sent over there to help them develop their technology. Neither one of them had ever worked with natural gas at all. But they're the experts to make this deal. Right. And so they're the ones that are sent over there. And what they do is they work for the biggest natural gas company in the Ukraine. I thought they hated gas and all that. No, no, no. They, 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 They like it when it lines their pockets. Do you know what presidential candidate got more money from the oil companies than any other one in history? I mean, I don't know. He hasn't run, so... Barack Obama. Ah! Barack Obama got more than... Any, they they give lip service to being to all of that. tough on energy companies, but 
you know, when it's they all still, they take their money, they take their money. But anyway, so they they wind up as board members on the biggest natural gas company in the Ukraine, Burisma, and the owners of Burisma are these two brutal, notorious dictators. Uh, and I know I'm butchering the names because they're Ukrainian. Uh, Mykolika Zerkovsky, Zer Zerlevsky, and Eeyore, not the Winnie the Pooh character. His name's Eeyore Kolomavsky. And by the way, this guy was so bad and so notorious for criminal activity, he was actually banned from the U.S., was not allowed to get a license, or sorry, was not allowed to get a visa. But when that $1.8 billion that we talked about when that $1.8 billion goes over to Ukraine, they've got to put it in a bank. Guess what bank it gets put in? The they bank should... that's owned by the guy who also owns the natural gas company hmm. that just hired Hunter Biden. Oh, what a tangled web we weave. Mm -hmm. And then when this begin... money just kind of disappears and nobody can find it. About a year later, a watchdog group in the Ukraine finds out that one of the oligarchs that owned this bank, they found at least over a billion of it s sort of circling around in offshore accounts owned by this same guy that Hunter, uh, that hired Hunter Biden. Hmm. That's a pretty good deal to get a $1.8 billion of American taxpayer money to hire the vice president's son. That's doing all right. That is doing all right. And then a few days after this deal goes through, Kolomowski the guy who owns all of this, all of a sudden he gets a visa. So somebody that wasn't allowed to get a visa couldn't even come to the United States. Now he's on the board of directors for a gas company with the vice president's son, and now all of a sudden he can get a visa. Weird how that worked out. So Vice President Biden, after this takes place, mm -hmm. Vice President Biden publicly threatens to pull a $1 billion loan to the Ukraine if their president doesn't fire the general prosecutor, alleging that he was corrupt and he needed to get him out of here. But guess what that general prosecutor was investigating when that took place? I don't know. The company that Hunter Biden works at. Ah. So when this whole thing's about to hit the fan. You need a scorecard with this thing. Oh, yeah. So when this thing's follow. about to hit the fan, Hunter Biden's daddy, who's the vice president of the, the United States, just shows up and says oh, we're going to withhold this uh, fund unless that guy gets fired. And he does. Hmm. And Joe Biden tried to paint it as, well, I was trying to get rid of him and this guy was corrupt. He even brags about this as recently as a year ago. You know what I'm shocked about with all this? What? I haven't heard a word about this on the Progress Network. Yeah, you're not going to see it on Progress or CNN or MSNBC. I haven't even seen it on Fox. No. This I is a pretty juicy little thing mm -hmm. here. But uh, let's fast forward. It gets even better. Let's fast forward. And then Hunter's buddy, Devin Archer, one of the other experts in natural gas that was working for this gas company, he actually gets convicted for fraud and goes to prison. But in the records that turned up, over $3 billion in consulting fees came consulting from... Consulting for $3 billion. Consulting fees for $3 billion came from this natural gas company. And guess where they went? I don't know. The company that was owned by Devin Archer and Hunter Biden oh, and John Kerry's stepson. So there's a lot of money changing hands in a lot of different ways. This is effectively, if you follow the money trail, this is like Joe Biden giving $1.8 billion to this Ukrainian guy so that he can turn around and pay consulting fees to the company of Joe Biden's son. Let us not forget that he is the front runner for the Democratic nomination for the mm -hmm. presidency of the United States, who they're saying in November want they want him to unseat Donald Trump. That's right. Because of collusion. Mm hmm And because he's so in bed with the Russians. Mm hmm And what's hilarious and, about this is that a lot of this was done in the coordination by the DNC. The administration that this happened under was the Russian run administration the one that was friendly to Russia and was okay with them annexing Crimea. Mm -hmm. The one that was actually on Putin's payroll that we found out about later. So if anything, there's Russian collusion between the Democrats, not Donald Trump's uh, administration. Well, remember the crack between uh, the uh, soundbite that wasn't supposed to be heard between 
Barack Obama. Oh, you and mean Putin? that that hot? Well, it wasn't him and Putin. It was the one of the Russian ambassadors that he said that mm -hmm. tell Putin that I'll have more flexibility after the election. After the election, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean that's the thing. The Russians have always been more the allies of the Democrats than Republicans. Anyway, Why, you're, yeah. you're a lot older than me, but even I'm young. Even though I'm only 29, I remember when they were always buddying up with the Russians. Yeah, they they vilified Reagan to the nth degree because of he called them the evil empire. Mm -hmm. I won't ever forget that. Yeah. This is, uh, you know, it's like the MASH episode where the spy came in and the two the two <laughs> intelligence agents came uh, in. Colonel the, Flag. The, Colonel Flag, and then they had the other guy that came in, and they kept talking about which, which agency. And Hawkeye said, they're leaking all over each other. <laughs> and that's kind of how it is with this thing. That's kind of what so, it feels like. Yeah. It does, and they're, they're so tangled up with each other. And that's an, a tremendous amount of money. That's not... You know, a few hundred thousand dollars. And, and 1.8 billion of it was taxpayer money. That's what I mean. I mean, that's a chunk of money. And you know what else is really bothersome about this? You could have built a section of the wall with that. I know, right? <laughs> you could have built a lot of wall with 1.8 billion. Absolutely. And what's crazy about this? All of it's perfectly legal. And why is that? Because there's no law against it. Well, now there's the, no laws against it in Ukraine. Now, if they'd done this in America and this is where all this took place, it probably would be illegal. But as far as we know, at least based on the evidence that we have available to us right this second, and more could spring up when these guys uh, ever do get their evidence to Washington. But right now, everything that we know is actually legal. Well, now I continue to hear on the progress side that Donald Trump has done a lot of this because of the hotel that he wanted in Russia. And he wanted but he to build didn't a Trump Tower. He hadn't built it, I know. But and Donald Jr.'s in bed with the Russians, and that's why they did all of that. But there's they don't have any evidence like this that See, that's is, the difference. Is concrete. There's you can actually look this up online. There are yeah. checks and receipts. There's a paper trail. On this. The only thing that you can't find is where that one point eight billion went. And that's because as soon as it got into the bank, well then it just vanished. <laughs> You know, you really should like this video and subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel. Oh, what's that? You want to know what's on the channel before you subscribe to it? Oh, no, no, no. It's like Obamacare. So you got to subscribe to find out what's on it.